Hello everybody, this is Nick. And Matthew from Plastic Tombstone. And this is another episode of PT's Toy Box. Where we take an honest look at toys and collectibles. Today we're doing an unboxing and we're unboxing the first gamer block, formerly Arcade Block. So yeah, this used to be Arcade Block, they've changed their name. Um, that, they, well they do a, an E for Everyone box and a Mature box. And E for Everyone box is only E for Everyone games. I forgot to switch it, so I don't really know what's gonna be in here. It's probably just gonna be like a lot of kids games, Mario, stuff like that. <laughs> I know there's a Pac-Man item again. We well, usually arcade block used to be really good about giving you really good items. So. Yeah, and speaking of them, their customer service, Nerd Block was great. Uh, we commented on the candle that we got last time that was a little dirty and they sent us a new one it free of cost. Dirty. It was yeah. dirty and warped, but yeah. you can't beat having customer service like that. that yeah, takes it's care an of that, awesome so. job. We appreciate it a lot and like you said, it's clean, it's not warped. Yeah, much better. It's a much better version. Much better. Thank you. Thank you. All right, let's get going. Gamer block. All right, right out the gate, we have a shirt. And the shirt. Oh boy. And the shirt. I just is... got a peek of something in there. Oh, no. oh, I did too. Great. All right, this is a rock band rivals shirt. Battle of the Bands. E. Rock Band? Does anybody even yeah. play that Does game anybody anymore? anybody even play Rock Band anymore? Well, that's the problem you get with the E with E for Everyone box, because you don't even get a team box. It's got to be, like, everybody. Yeah. So. I mean, it's, an, it's a nice shirt, but it's, I, you know, look for that on Instagram. Because, <laughs> Another <laughs> giveaway that nobody's going <laughs> to enter. Old school here. We got a Parappa the Rappa stuff figure. You know, Parappa the Rappa's making a comeback, apparently. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah. That's, He's a nice little beanie guy, nice little display piece. But I see the part you're talking about. Stubbins. He's, this is the red beanie variant. Who makes these? Stub. This is an official like license. Officially licensed product. I guess they're called Stubbins. Is the company that makes these? Stubbins. Huh? They're not bad. I mean, it's nice. Oh. It's, it's nice. The fabric soft. It's. I don't know. It's not terrible. <laughs> hey, grab this. Oh boy. <laughs> All right. Let me. Let me. Let me say. Let me say something about this. This is a. This is a Pac-Man bow tie. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you that nobody is ever going to wear this in the history Don't of the world. That. Don't say that. Cause... And another thing. Hang on just a second. Uh-oh. <laughs> I was cleaning up my stuff the other day, and I found Pac-Man Band-Aids, Pac-Man Salt Shakers, a Pac-Man Lanyard. Nobody wants this much Pac-Man stuff. Is anybody this big of a Pac-Man fan? I, do, I actually do know somebody that is a pretty big Pac-Man fan. Do, so. do they want a nice Pac-Man box with salt shakers, bow ties, and band-aids? Maybe. <laughs> he likes chips and Gatorade, so I don't know. If oh, he, no. <laughs> it's that guy. I don't know if you want to give that to him or not. <laughs> but anyway, Pac-Man. We're Pac-Man down. We're Pac-Man down. Cool with the Pac-Man stuff. Either better send us some Pac-Man pops. At least those are cool. Yeah, Pac-Man pops. I'll take those. That's a cool, that's a nice pin. Oh, you'll like that, yeah. Wax off, uh, it's a Zelda three heart pin. Don't miss a beat, that's what it says. Arcade block exclusive, not terrible. Neat. And Lovers in a Dangerous Space Time. This is actually a really fun little indie game that I have on Xbox. Oh, and if so I'm not mistaken, yeah, this is a, co a Steam code for the actual game. And you get the actual physical box for it? Uh, no, I think it's just a, Nice no. box for it to be in. That's what I mean. It's the. But they, yeah, they give you a box just to that's just cool. play it. Uh, that's big. My biggest problem with downloadable games is that you don't have anything physical. Yeah. Having a box like this is, even if it's just a box, is pretty cool because then, if you collect games and want to display your games, you can't display a digital game, but you can yeah. display a cool box for your digital game. So that's that's pretty awesome. And this game is pretty fun. It's a it's a Steam game. I already have it for Xbox One, so I'm gonna give this Steam code to Matt. You wow. should definitely try it out. Uh, it's cool. basically like you're in a spaceship and you have to control different aspects of the spaceship and you can play it with a bunch of people. Hmm. So up to four people can, one person drives the ship, one person shoots this gun, one person shoots that gun and you gotta like fly around. It's a really fun, awesome indie game and it sort of makes this box worth it because that's, it's it's $15 on the Xbox, on the uh, Xbox store, which is the same price that is, uh, it is on Steam. And then you, of course you get your... Your shirt punch $10 card. And then your little magazine that basically goes over. Oh, you get a Freddy Krueger's Five Most Creative Kills in there. That's pretty cool. Hmm. And yeah, and everything that you got. That's pretty cool. They actually give you some, like... Like an actual book. Yeah, it's actually a little bit of information, not just like, here's what you got in your 
block and here's what you could have got. There's actually some little articles and stuff in here. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. That's it. Yep. So all in, I mean, it was an E for Everyone box. I wasn't really expecting much, but I honestly got more than I was thinking. I, li I like the Parappa the Rapper figure. The pin's, the pin's nice. Cool. I mean, obviously the game's cool. Yeah, the game. Obviously. I'm pretty impressed. I, I like that they put it in an actual box. Even it's just a box, but to have yeah. something to actually display, say, because I know you collect games. You're a yeah. big, you're a big gamer, so yeah, to have something to actually show for the thing that I already bought. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, and no more Pac-Man stuff. <laughs> stop. Let's just stop. We don't need it anymore. No lanyards. No bow ties. No toilet paper. <laughs> Nothing. What, what could possibly be next? We got band-aids and bow ties and salt shakers. I can't even imagine what's next. Socks? Please let the next box have Pac-Man socks and prove me wrong. Watch. They're going to send us like a big box of nothing but Pac-Man socks. Please send me all the Pac-Man stuff. I'll open it on here and I'll praise you for giving me a free box of Pac-Man stuff. <laughs> so but anyway. Favorite item? I'm going to go with the game. I already own it, but like you said, it's a cool It's cool to have a physical copy and an, it's, it's, a, it's a game. You know, it's actually something yeah, a gamer person would want to play is an actual game. That's so. pretty awesome. I, th I think that's probably my favorite item, too. Even though I never played the game, I think it's a great idea to actually put a game in there. And then as it is a digital copy, you get a fr you get the box for it, which I think is awesome. So you get the game and you get a box. And then they should do more of that. Yeah. Well, anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching. This was Gamer Block for January, the first Gamer Block. Next month, we're going to try for the Mature Box. It didn't say what it was coming next, did it? It usually um, has a card that says what's coming next on the box. Well, do you, does it say on that one? No. They're there. doing a Year of the Nerd. Yeah, it should have had a what's coming no. next month thing. I don't see, I don't see that in there. Hmm. Well, whatever it is. Oh, well. I'm sure. Yeah. Usually sure. they have a little card. That will, That's always nice to kind of know what's coming. Oh, no, no. The next next theme is golden. Okay. I don't know what that means. So We're probably going to get some Pac-Man coins. <laughs> yes, we are. Those chocolate-covered ones. <laughs> probably, right? Yeah. Well, anyway, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and all that good stuff. Check us out on Instagram, Facebook, and all social media, and stay groovy. I do like the pen. Yeah. I'm starting to get a collection.